uh, convention was a bit uh, disconcerting. I went along um, quite late on. I've been there most of the day, and I tried to sneak in about six and been through what I thought was the side door. But uh, they're very good. They're very very sharp and spotted it straight away. And just big cheer and almost ran away and, and hid as soon as that happened. Um, but it was uh, brilliant. The attention to detail, the posters they had up everywhere, fantastic. Well, my initial idea was that we would all just meet in a pub in London, talk about the show, go through all the quotes that we knew and just have a good laugh. We did a quiz uh, to start with, just as an icebreaker really. One team were lucky enough to have James Henry um, on the team and they thought they'd be the winning team having a writer on the team and he was actually crap. So <laughs> I think they lost. Him, my top miler. <laughs> I look like a drag queen. And that much of a Green Moon fan, I got the wings tattooed on my back. When we first started planning it, we were very aware that the chances of getting anybody from the show there were pretty remote. So we knew that to charge people, you know, £40 a ticket or something, to raise as much money we, as we could, we would have to have some good games, and they had to be obviously relevant to the show. So we thought, well, the things we can do would be the Spoon of Destiny. Right, uh, OK, pick a spoon. Do you understand the rules of the Spoon of Destiny? I understand the spoon of destiny. Are you ready to play the spoon of destiny? I'm ready to play the spoon of destiny. Well, let's get on with it then. <laughs> the fact that we had then had Stephen Mangan playing in the final, I think, was just amazing. And the girl who won, she just must have been over the moon. That cheated all the way through it. <laughs> just, just pushing her out the way. It was knocking her sugar off a spoon. Everything you could do. Towers um, that um, Martin and uh, Boise had played. Kim came up with the, the, the fantastic uh, Sue arms she actually made. You know, she's got a jacket and put the extra arms in because we had to have something to knock it off. They had to build their tower and then she would come in and sweep it, sweep it down. Uh, I won the chocolate towers, well so I got 38 bars of chocolate. Thank you. Oh, I want a diet. I was like, all oh, right, I really need 38 bars of chocolate. Well, at about three o'clock, we all uh, put on our top milers and uh, headed out onto Brook Green. And Steve came out to referee, and then he decided to make up his own own rules. We blame the Geneva variation. <laughs> it's free fuddles. <laughs> uh, Watching cock sixes. <laughs> very naive. Some of the play very naive. So we were just trying to run around getting a t a, the oblique the the, that we got into somebody's top model on our team and run. And I think a goal was scored, but I don't know who scored it and whose team it was. It was just it was mental. No, you can't. <whistles> OK. <laughs> this is, uh, it's chaos. I don't know, I don't know when women were allowed to play Gibri, frankly. I think Steve had run out of ideas, so he got us all in a big circle to splice the matter on, and he literally just stood in the middle, and we just hurled abuse at him. So, one by one, I want the most uh, abusive oh, thing oh. you can say. <laughs> oh, no. Not think of one. Simbin. Yeah. <laughs> Spunk face. Spunk face. Uh, That's not the first time I've... Mother lover. Mother lover. <laughs> <laughs> Julian Reintock. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Let's, let's, let's not get too disgusting. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting us to do that. I think he was expecting us to insult each other, but he was there. He was in the middle of us. He got the lot. All of 
of it was just amazing. I mean, to have writers there, to have Rob Harley there doing doing the auction for us. First lot is this uh, photo of Carl in shark jacket and the shark jacket itself. And the stuff that we had to auction as well, people were amazed that we got we got Martin's um, thin coat and all the scripts that we'd got. 55? 55 here. 60? <laughs> Going once at 60 pounds for the shark bin. Going twice. <laughs> and it's sold. <laughs> it was just such a great day.